we are at the Holiday Inn Central in Dallas, and uh, it just as well could be the, the foyer of the Pantages Theater on Academy Award night, because I've never seen so many stars in one place in my whole life. We are here to talk about a film, Hatari. Hatari is a Swahili word that means danger, and the whole nation is going to be talking Swahili. I think that's kind of wild, you know, Swahili and the twist all at one time, that's pretty wild. This very beautiful young lady standing with me here is Elsa Martinelli, the leading lady of this Howard Hawks film for Paramount. Elsa, welcome to Texas. Have you ever been to Texas before? Thank you. Yes, I was here before, about four years ago. For a show, and Nemus Marcus. Nemus Marcus, yes, uh, they won't mind at all you calling it Nemus Marcus. We do. In oh, I'm sorry, but it's a difficult <laughs> name to pronounce. Uh, you are Italian. Yes, I am. Uh, and uh, what uh, was the occasion of the modeling at that time? Well, I was modeling in New York, and they asked me to come over here for a show, and I did, and I found it wonderful. I'm very glad to, to be back. Well, we're happy to have you back. Have you ever done a film, anything at all, like Hatari? No, I don't think uh, neither me, neither the others, because I think it's one of the greatest speeches I ever made. I really think so. Of course, uh, this is a, a wild game picture that was uh, shot in Tanganyika, Africa. Had you ever been to Africa before, Elsa? No, never. Never. Uh, well, what was your reaction? Were you ever frightened during any of this wild filming I've been reading about? Well, yes, we had few, I shouldn't call it accident, but almost. <laughs> For instance, we had a rhino sequence, and we had a rhino attached to two trucks, uh -huh. you know? And at a certain moment, he got loose, and I was inside of one of the trucks, so this was quite uh, uh, dangerous, and I was very scared, and fortunately, John Wayne was there, and you know, <laughs> he can that, give that you that courage. <laughs> Yes, it gives, gives you confidence yes. in size, if nothing else would give you confidence, wouldn't it? Well, you, um, I, I noticed uh, that uh, Edith Head did the, the uh, costumes for this picture, mm -hmm. Elsa. And uh, do you get to wear anything besides, uh, you know, safari pants? Well, yes, I had a few nice things, you know, in inside, uh -huh. uh, in interiors. Uh -huh. Well, outside I couldn't wear anything else than jeans and, you know, because it was quite a rough uh -huh. way of going, you know, dust everywhere and animals. <laughs> so what were the living conditions like? Well, I, I, I always like to get the girls' point of view because the men are inclined to say, well, it, you know, it wasn't the studio, but... <laughs> no, let me tell you that I was very surprised by the organization of this picture. I must say it was just great. We really lived in the camping like we were in a beautiful hotel, you know, we had everything, even movie night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that there was uh, some uh, degree of comfort for you. Yes, very uh, much. What, uh, what is the role of Dallas? What is she in the film? Well, Dallas is um, an Italian girl who goes to meet these uh, catching people. I don't know how do you call them. Well, anyway, you can't call a hunt because they don't kill anybody. They just catch animals. Oh. And I play a photographer who goes to photograph these animals and have a love affair with John Wayne and three elephants. <laughs> and three elephants. Well, that's interesting. Uh, and why the name Dallas? Is it spelled like our city? D-A-L-L-A-S? Yes, exactly. And I'm very proud of it. <laughs> but, but why Dallas? Why? Because my name in Italian is D'Alessandro. And uh -huh. to make it shorter, they make it Dallas. I see. Well, Elsa, it's been real fine talking with you. Thank and you. Uh, we have standing by over here uh, uh, Cabot, who plays Indian in the film. Thank you. And uh, can we get through, my dear? Okay. Hello, Bruce. Are you well, hello there. How are you? Welcome, welcome to Texas. Thank you. I'm sure you've been here before. Yes, indeed. I was made an honorary citizen of Dallas back in about 1939. Oh. I haven't been here for 10 years, and uh, well, it's I'm about a little time. lost. It's about time you came I'll back. I'll tell you one thing that hasn't changed in Dallas, and that's the pretty girls you find here. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, a great pleasure. It's like coming home again. Well, we're mighty happy to have you here, Bruce. Now, you play the part of Indian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what kind of a fella is Indian? Well, you better see the picture, and then you tell me what you think of him. I, uh, it's not the biggest part in the world, but it was a great privilege and a pleasure to uh, be connected with this film, because it's a little bit different, I think. Uh, it's it's, it's sounds... made for the whole family. It's what we call entertainment. We had a lot of fun making it, and I hope it'll show in the picture. Bruce, had you ever made any other wild game pictures? No, I made a couple of African pictures out in New Mexico. Uh -huh. 
Uh, how, how does this one differ, though, from other wild game pictures that have been made, in your well, opinion? Well, it would differ in this respect, that the uh, animals are not the villains. There's not an animal killed in the picture. Mm -hmm. But we catch everything from uh, rhinoceros to uh, giraffes uh -huh. and water buffalo. In fact, it we had a little trouble trying to keep big John Wayne there from bulldogging one of these water <laughs> buffalo. He's about to bulldog somebody there with that microphone cable. <laughs> he, uh, he's the man who might be able to do it. <laughs> we might just sign him up for a rodeo down well, I here. I want to tell you, let's bring on one of the greatest guys in our business. One of our really, truly great stars has won every award you can win and broken every record you can break. And one of my greatest pals, Big John Wayne. Let's do bring him on with much applause. John, hi. Thank you, Brucey. Well, Thank this you. is indeed a great thrill for us, John Wayne. And uh, I, I'd like to ask you, uh, in, in your opinion, now, what, what does the film mean to you, Hattari? Oh, well, I'll tell you, I've been a hunter and a fisherman all my life. And I've enjoyed my work in Western pictures and the outdoors. But I never dreamed that I could have as much uh, adventure and as many thrills as we had while making this picture. The background, as you know, is uh, a group of uh, catchers for zoos and uh, circuses. And they took a professional crew out and showed us what to do, told us what to worry about, to where we had enough confidence that uh, we went in and roped uh, wildebeest, giraffe, rhino, uh, several other animals. John, what, what is the most dangerous game to try to catch? Well, I guess the elephant is uh, about the most dangerous. Uh, here we size? think that they're, uh, you know, that you can feed them peanuts, but uh, <laughs> nobody goes up feeding them peanuts over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have three little elephants in the picture, and uh, Elsa works with them, and I tell you, she was magnificent. I'm sure that she'd never before seen anything but a dog or a cat, and... Uh, she just stepped right out with these three little companions, and some of the most pleasant scenes you've ever seen are her with the uh, elephants. How, uh, how much game did you actually catch in making this picture, John? Well, we caught uh, everything that they would normally go out and get, wildebeest, zebra. Uh, in numbers, do you have any idea how many animals? No, well, for instance, in rhinos, in order to get what we needed on the screen, we had to catch four. Rhino. Now, that doesn't mean that you'll see shots of poor rhino, but you don't order them to work at 8 <laughs> o'clock in the morning and take them <laughs> yeah. by right to left. You know, so they couldn't we, care less about no, calls, could no. they? <laughs> they took a particular dislike to some of our trucks. Thank God they didn't get get to us. Yeah. John, did, they ever, did the animals ever seem to be aware that uh, some unusual things were happening in their jungle? Well, they... They have the same feeling any time anybody came down there. I'm, I don't think they were uh, conscious that they were being photographed. Yeah. We couldn't show them the Polaroid shot, you know, and say, this is what we're doing. Yeah. They always hit their marks, didn't they? <laughs> no. <laughs> A couple of times I was afraid they were going to hit their marks. Uh, did anyone during the filming get, uh, get injured in any way at all? Well, we had one very uh, sad incident at the beginning of the picture. There was only one uh, licensed uh, woman, White Hunter. And uh, she, knowing animals as well as she does, came up behind our our uh, main lion that we were using in the picture. And uh, he was asleep, and it startled him, and he whirled and just took her whole uh, throat and jugged her vein out and killed her instantly. And that threw a ball over yeah. us. But the lion was really not vicious. He didn't... Uh, Sorry, was he 10 minutes He didn't... Uh, he didn't uh, you know, he didn't go trying to tear her up or anything. It was just that one thing, and then yeah. we settled down. But they had to destroy the lion, naturally. What, uh, did uh, the company take uh, any uh, interesting safety precautions? Uh, well, yes, we had white hunters standing by yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Of course, uh, uh, it's just the irritation on a lot of those things, like the monkeys. We have a sequence with monkeys where we had to a net over this tree with all these monkeys in there. I'm glad and that uh, we never had to use those <laughs> white hunters. Those white hunters might shoot us. <laughs> the animals. And we See, put on uh, hockey gloves and strange contrivances over our heads and went in and picked these monkeys out for uh, 
the Duke. picture. Excuse me, but I think we ought to tell the people that this uh, Atari, before we tell them too much about it, is going to open at the Worth Theater in Fort Worth around the middle of July, and we hope that you'll uh, enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. Well, it sounds like it was the most marvelous kind of, of adventure. Uh, John, would you do it again if you had the chance? I mean, would you go back I'll to the jungle again? Tomorrow. I'm already packed. <laughs> Awfully nice meeting you. Well, John, it was a real pleasure. It. We appreciate uh, your taking the time to stop by in front of our camera. Nice Thank you very much. Fort Thank Worth you people. for very see nice in to Fort meet Worth. you. And uh, we hope that you all will go see Hatari, Howard Hawks production for Paramount, starring John Wayne with Elsa Martinelli, Bruce Cabot, Red Buttons, a host of stars, as the cliche goes. So look for it. It'll be there soon. Hatari. Bye. Bye-bye.